Hi guys, Irina here and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. So, this is the PlayStation 5 and no, unfortunately Sony did not send me this unit for review. Long story short, I've been hunting for this thing for over 3 months now and finally I got it. So, let's open the box. So, in the box we get a quick start guide, an AC power cable, the DualSense controller, then we get a console stand, an HDMI cable, a USB-A to USB-C cable, and finally the PlayStation 5 console itself. So here is my story on how I managed to get my PS5 and no, it wasn't easy. I followed a bunch of Twitter accounts that were informing people on the upcoming drops. I had the GameStop, Best Buy, Amazon, Walmart, Target and New Egg apps on my phone with all my shipping and bill information saved and ready to go. And after countless and I mean countless failed attempts, I was somehow able to add one to cart and actually check out during one of the drops from Walmart. So if you're still trying to get one, don't give up and keep trying. Honestly, when I saw the PlayStation 5 for the first time, I was surprised by the color, because all the PS5 photos I've seen online or even on the official selling platforms showed it as white. But in real life, it's definitely off-white, I would say it looks a little grayish, and the same thing goes for the controller. And speaking of the controller, when compared to the previous generation, this new one looks and feels chunkier, and it's noticeably heavier. The buttons on the new controller feel sturdier, and you get a more premium feel when you press them. And of course, on the new generation we have a USB-C port instead of the micro-USB. The first game I tried playing on my new PS5 was Wreckfest, and with the new controller I felt like I had a much better throttle and brake control and the overall feeling of the car. The haptics feel great, so I definitely like this new controller much better over the previous one. By the way, we have a built-in mic in the DualSense controller, and also I like that it has some grippy texture on the bottom here, and if you look closer you will see that this texture is actually made of PlayStation symbols, and we also have it on the inner side of these white panels of the PS5, which is pretty cool. This thing is packed with features that I can't wait to explore. And remember how I mentioned that this controller is heavier? Well, even after playing for hours at a time, I never felt like this extra weight was a problem. The setup was easy, you get three cables, just like on the PS4, the data transfer from my PS4 was seamless, and also with the new PS5 you get a stand that you should attach to the body. You could put your PS5 horizontally or vertically. I think I'll be keeping mine in a horizontal position, but I think it actually looks much better and more stylish in the vertical layout. As you can see, the PlayStation 5 is noticeably bigger than its predecessor, but it's not as heavy as it might seem, you can easily grab it and move it around. When it comes to design, I personally love it, it looks kind of futuristic and I love this glossy part in the middle. The good thing about the new PS5 is that it's quiet. I'm not sure about the disc version, but mine is digital and you cannot hear it at all. We get a new home screen interface and it looks nice. Everything feels more modern and engaging. I'm really curious to try new games, so guys, feel free to recommend some in the comments below. I hope you like this short unboxing video with some of my first thoughts and impressions. If you're someone who's still trying to get their PS5, I hope you'll get it soon. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.